in today's video we'll be studying about another important organ that is uterus the uterus in the case of a human female is a pear shaped structure that is inverted pear shaped structure and another term which we use for uterus is womb so uterus or womb are the same terms now as you can see over here the structure present here is the uterus and the space is known as uterine cavity now the uterus is supported by the ligaments and these ligaments help the uterus to be in the place so that it has a fixed position and the ligaments are present between the urinary bladder and the rectum this enables the ligaments heal the uterine cavity or the uterus at a place now when we talk of the uterus it has three distinct layers the perimetrium that is the outermost layer as you can see over here it is the outermost layer and it is comparatively thinner than the other layers the perimetrium since it is outside it protects the inside layer which is the myometrium and also it helps in keeping the uterine cavity or the uterus intact at a place so it holds the uterus in place myometrium is the middle layer so as we can see over here the layer which is present in between this is the perimetrium which is outside the myometrium is the inside thick layer and this thick layer is made up of smooth muscle cells now the smooth muscle cells have a very strong and very important role to play during the process of parturition that is the during the time of the child birth these muscles contract strongly as a result pushing the baby outside so the muscles help that is the myometrium muscles help in contracting and uh, strongly during the parturition process and it is this layer is made up of smooth muscle cells so the outer layer is perimetrium which is protective in nature at the same time it is keeping the uterus in place the myometrium is the layer which is very thick and it is highly muscular made up of smooth muscle cells which help actually during the process of childbirth the innermost layer that is the endometrium so these are actually the three layers of the uterus so endometrium endometrium is the innermost layer and this layer actually goes through cyclical changes that means a periodic change during the menstrual cycle so they are affected by the secretions of the hormone and as a result they prepare every month for receiving the ovum and its implantation so endometrium undergoes a uh, cyclic changes and this glandular layer so this is the innermost glandular layer which undergoes cyclic changes during the menstrual cycle and also prepares the uterus for pregnancy when the pregnancy happens so the the uh, the baby is nourished and development of the baby takes place over here now when we talk of the uterus the uterus has three different regions that is the uterine fundus the corpus that is the central region or the uterine cavity and the cervix this region is the cervix and here it is the cervical canal so the you when we talk of the regions of the uterus the fundus is the upper part which is thick and muscular the corpus is the second part that is the uterine cavity which actually holds the or during the development of the baby the implantation occurs over here and the development of the baby takes place over here now cervix is a narrow opening which leads through the cervical canal the cervical canal is a very small canal which leads further so these are the three different regions of the uterus and this is the site when we talk of the functions of the uterus it is the site where 
the ova is received once the ova are released from the uh, ovary they travel all the way through the fallopian tube that is through the fimbriae and fundibulum ampulla the isthmus and they finally reach over here which is the uterine cavity now so they receive the ova the development of the placenta if the uh, if the fertilization happened to take place then in that case the implantation also that takes place in the uterus and also the placenta formation takes place over here also it is uh, responsible for the childbirth during the contraction or the contractions which are being created by the myometrium so it is an important part of the female reproductive system